I surrender. That's right. I'm surrendering. I I let myself get out of organizational control until I just couldn't do it anymore. Jen was on me. It was just bad. So I spent this weekend trying to get things in shape. Well, you know what happened? I found out I was in so disarray, such disarray, that it took me more than the weekend. It's going to take me all this week. I'll dedicate an hour or two to it a day and be in pretty good shape by the end of the week. But I have no shelf control. I bought this at uh, Barnes & Noble, I think. It's a bookstore. <laughs> used to be. And um, I bought it because it reminded me of me. And I think the real challenge is that uh, whatever you're doing, you can increase your productivity if you're organized about it. So I have just gone crazy with boxes, piles, throwing stuff away. Yes, throwing stuff away. I'm, I'm a pack rat, but sometimes it's just got to go. And trying to put things in a position where I feel okay about me. I don't want to justify looking at a pile of stuff and going, I'll do it later. No, I freaking do it now. And you need to do the same thing. You will increase your productivity, your peace of mind, and literally have a better space to work in by simply organizing yourself. Now, I'm, I'm not a neat freak. I just have never been. But every time I make it neat, I feel better. And so do you. I guarantee you, so do you. I'll show you when I'm done. I'm sort of halfway at the moment. It's a little bit disheveled still, but I feel like I'm making major headway. This major headway, just by doing a little bit, and then 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 a little bit more. You can do the same thing. <laughs> Organization breeds higher productivity. And what happens is if you look at something and it's all screwed up, you know what it means? And you don't do anything about it. What it says is I'll procrastinate this and put it off until some, some other time. And then that's a sign. You're a procrastinator. Oh, well, what the hell are you doing? That's the whole deal. I want to thank Ken Walls if you're on right now. I want to thank him for finding somebody at LinkedIn who can actually help me. We'll see. And I want to thank Dave Wilderson. Dave Wilderson, who you don't know, owns or is part owner of a company called Sound Wisdom. Sound Wisdom is a publishing house that has republished 44 of Napoleon Hill's works. Go online, look up Sound Wisdom on Amazon Books or any of the, once you get one, you'll see published by Sound Wisdom, but he's done How to Raise Your Own Salary, all the obscure Napoleon Hill books, The Magic Ladder. Well, we are both collectors. He sent me this. Success and Salesmanship. It's, a, it's an Albert Hubbard little booklet from 1915 which is that crazy success and salesmanship. And basically it tells a story about book salespeople, people that started out in their life selling books and then raising themselves to success because they read the book and sold the book. Hello. And because I collect books, I came to the to the observation and, and the conclusion that books are not just for reading. Books are also for reference. And so I surround myself with books, number one, to make me feel a little bit more intelligent, but number two, to actually peruse and gain that little bit of wisdom every day. This is a classic. Wilderson, thank you so kindly for your generosity and knowing how to hit me right in the head. 
and right in the heart. It's really cool. It's a really cool thing. You can look online and find reprints, I'm sure. I found a couple of other actual prints, but I already bought them. And uh, But I'm sure they're there. I'm sure you can go to ABE Books or someplace that will give you um, um, the title. Just make sure if you're going to get it, it's from 1915, not from 2008, because that's a reprint. Or anything past 1915 is a reprint. So here's the deal. If you decide that you want to be organized, you will take a giant leap forward. The problem is you have to take a step backwards to go forwards because it means you're going to upheaval everything. I have piles all over the place, but the piles are smaller and getting smaller. And as I walk by a pile, I'll say, all right, I'll take this one or two things and I'll just get it done. Eventually, the pile whittles down. It's been an interesting journey. Um, if you're a neat freak, let me know. If you're a disorganized freak, let me know. And make the commitment to just spend an hour a day putting your shit in piles or putting it in, a, in the right place or putting it on the right shelves or whatever you're doing with it. For goodness sake, do it for yourself and your productivity. Procrastination, piles of crap. Productivity, put the piles of crap away or in their place or just chuck them. Don't throw away anything of value. Don't th if you have second thoughts about something, keep it. It's been my, what should I do? No, no. If I have to ask myself, should I throw it away? I don't. But man, if I found some cool stuff and I'm going to find even cooler stuff because <laughs> I got stuff. And sometimes I put it in the wrong place and then I sort of discover it. You've done it. But I have no shelf control I'm going to wear this shirt every time I spend the day cleaning or organizing to remind myself when I go in the bathroom, look in the mirror, like, dude, my shelves are in control. It's the stuff around the shelves that are out of control. Got it? Because all my books are cataloged. And in FileMaker Pro by author and year and publisher and if it's signed or not, and valued, I have a really good FileMaker Pro system that shows me that, oh, I, I have this book. Look at this one. This is pretty cool. Confucius said it first by this guy. But look how beautiful it looks when it's signed. Oh, my goodness. It's signed in 1942. But I believe the book came out in 1939, and that's how I found it. Yeah, 1939. So there you go. <clears throat> What's in your wallet? What's on your shelves? What's on your walls? What's on your floor? What's in your boxes? What is the key to making this happen? So let me talk to a few of my friends this morning because there's a lot of you online right now. Justin, the future depends on what you do today. Mahatma Gandhi. But Justin was third. Cynthia Mannion was first. Don't let perfection become an excuse for never getting started. Boom. Mary Lou Henner. I think she's from Taxi, isn't she? This is your Monday morning. Remind Reminder that you can handle whatever it is that whatever this week throws at you. I concur. And Williams, either you run the day or the day runs you. Yep. Yep. Martin, good morning. JR, good morning. UK is here. Hope you have a joyful weekend. Be brilliant. Michael, I will be brilliant. You know, I started the 17 book. It's damn good. Get a copy. Just get a copy. It will tell you about you and procrastination and productivity. It's like the perfect book for me. Everyone's here. Sherry, advice from a rock. Start each day with a clean slate. Be strong. Try your hardest. Be well-rounded. Roll with the times. Stay grounded. Don't take life for granted. Oh, my God. I love that. Oh, my God. That's so good. That's worthy. Cynthia? 
You can't plan for everything or you never get started in the first place. Yep. Yeah, today is the today is Yom Kippur and I will be prayerful as soon as I leave you. And Joachim from hell, paradise on earth, our thoughts and imagination are the only real limits to our possibilities, Aris and Sweat Martin. My man. Milwaukee's here, and so is Fort Mill, South Carolina. Love the shirt. Thank you, Diane. Toru, good morning to you, my friend from Japan. Coachman, good morning. And Chris is here. Ready for an amazing week. Live from Exit 7. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yep. I'm when you live in Yardley, by the way, I'm so happy you're moving to Yardley. I've always thought it was one of the most beautiful places. You drive through it when you're going up to New Hope. But it's one of those towns that you look at and you go, well, that's a damn nice place. So please let us know all about it. Let's kick Monday in the butt community. Concur. Good morning, squad. Shared. Thank you, Larry. This is a long one. Always look for something to be grateful about. Life might give you lemons from time to time. However, there's always an opportunity to turn misfortune into a gift. Always look for that. Gratitude helps us many ways. Recent positive psychology studies have shown gratitude to be the single best means of increasing personal happiness. Gratitude reduces stress and anxiety. It makes us healthier, happier. It makes people like us. Oh, it makes people like us. It makes us less, less self-centered, regularly practicing gratitude. Dude, well said. Good morning from Waukesha. Dylan does. Go for it, Dylan. I was here. Kim, bearer of great gifts. Happy Vancouver Day. Little rub book of selling every month, every day to start my day. Thank you, Jeffrey. Get me fired up. It's my darn pleasure, Kim. There are a lot of comments this morning. I am so happy. Alonzo's here. Altemeyer's here. First comes thought, then organization of that thought into ideas and plans, then transformation of those plans into reality. The beginning, as you will observe, is your is in your imagination. Napoleon Hill in 1917 said, thoughts are things, and I'm going to challenge you. It was simplistic. Thoughts become things. The more you think about something, the more you're willing to take action on it or take a risk about it, or the more you discount it. But thoughts become things. Six best doctors in the world. The sun, rest, exercise, diet, self-respect, friends. Charlie Chaplin. You know, I would... I agree with that. I'm going to add a 6.5, and that is self-discipline. Just saying. Nicola good look, looks good. Thank you very kindly. Thank you very kindly. Clean your room, my mom. <laughs> Attaining power to make things happen can be good or bad. Choose to use your power for good. Alan, thank you. Cleanliness next to godliness. Good morning, Ken Walls. Greg. Exactly. Greg, I hope you I hope you do so good. Love the shirt. Thank you. Clean your blanking room. My clean your room. My mom. Clean your blanking room. My dad. Yep. Begin doing. Best way to get started is quit talking and begin doing. I totally agree. Good morning. Good morning, Tom. Morning from LA. Be ye not comfortable swimming in the pool of familiarity instead of jumping into the ocean of endless possibilities. I wrote this down years ago, source unknown. So claim it or Google it. Someone will pop up. Vancouver Island has checked in. That's cool. What a great place that is. Um, Coachman, good morning. Saying good morning to everybody else. Like, see, the group is a family. It is not just a community. There are people who have grown close in this group, and I'm so proud of it, I can't stand it. This is an opportunity for you. Get closer to somebody. 
Exactly. Make it count. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Shared. Good morning. King of sales. Mm. Thank you very much. But this is all, look, just look at the notes and you see the people who are saying, hey, 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 hey. Look it. Hey, hey, hey. And wisdom is checking in right now. Ready? Clutter is quicksand. Don't let it take you under. Pat, I was this close. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Morning, Robert. Morning, kicking butt friends. Let's see what this guy has to say. I am here. I'm there, but extreme organization is stifling. Sometimes you have to damn the torpedoes and work on the project. Yes, no argument. It's a postponement. But at some point, it will do you well to organize. Listen, I just let my stuff go for six months. Uh, during COVID, I just didn't feel like it. I felt it was more important to be productive, to be in front of you, to finish writing a book. I mean, I have things to do. And I'm... I paid the price for it. Make your own environment. One that makes you happy, gives you peace, and fosters your learning. Jeffrey Gittimer, Little Gold Book of Yes Attitude, page 139, Jim T. Thank you. And here we have Andrew in agreement. And Alonzo, my dad always said, if you do a little bit every day, you will be done before you know it, and you'll be able to stay on top of things. He was mainly talking about yard work, but I can apply to organization, organizing oneself. Totally true. Yep. Yep. You can't just disorganize freak. Listen, just decide. Boy, I needed to hear this today. Clutter is smothering me. Teresa, get uncluttered. I thrive amidst chaos. Richard Branson. Have hasn't. Yeah, the guy hasn't done too bad for himself, but I'm. He's not talking about clutter. He's talking about chaos. Big difference. Chaos is all the balls he's trying to juggle and bounce at the same time. My shelves are organized, but that's about it. <laughs> I love your stuff, mostly the books. Thank you very much. Great topic. Hello from Belgium. Hello. Good morning to you too, sir. People are just being family. Always thought this was a good piece of advice about organization. If you lose something, but eventually find it after looking everywhere, put it back the first place you look for it. That's great. That is great. Yeah, I'm certain it's over here. Uh, kind of. Yeah, kind of. It's day 196. Friday is day 200 from March 16th. Wow. Wow. Thank you, Greg. Thank you very much. That's fabulous. It is fabulous. One of the best books I read for organizing, Spiritual Art of Being Organized. Perfect for a creative procrastinator like me. First step is admitting it. Yeah, I don't mind admitting I'm, I could do a little bit better. I often play the game, get rid of 10 things today. Everything counts. Clothes, videos, books, garage items. I do it frequently. Yeah. at the If you do it at the end of a week, you're rid of 70 things. Go for it. Go for it. Bart, what do you got to say? It's not about whether you can do it, but whether you do it. I agree. I totally agree. Ah, <sighs> yeah, exactly. We keep things which are priorities to us organized. Agreed. Yeah, when I'm writing a book, totally 1,000% organized. Dayton is in the house. I'm so glad of that. Dayton... Tell us about the cemetery that has the Ketterings and uh, the Wright brothers and John Patterson. Come on, tell us about it, Jay. I wouldn't say I'm a neat freak, but I have a problem with clutter. Every morning at 7.59 Mountain Time, I try not to focus on your background. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Thank you. Well, I mean, this is, this is my life. Art, books, I'm rolling here, and I feel good about that. Good morning to you and God bless. My pleasure. Yeah, my pleasure. Shared cleanliness is next to godliness. Yep, or do. Good morning, yes team. My new consulting service, let's make it happen. New business development, extra service before, during, and after. Jim T, wishing you every single success. I have areas that are organized and areas that are a mess. I need to stay focused on one at a time. 
Oh, my God. Cleveland has checked in. Walls received my copy of the 17 book Saturday. Whoa, that's so cool. Finished my first run through Truthful Living last night. Tammy, it's worth rereading three times minimum. Jennifer, my wife, was the editor of the book. And every time she read something cool, she would text me, Dave, did you see this? Did you? It's full of inspiration, full of it. Yeah. Yeah. Ron Goodwin, good morning. As we grow better, we meet better people. Totally. Good morning, everyone from central Indiana. Jeffrey, I'm the most unorganized person on the planet. Mrs. Castle says, GSD dude. She told me the same thing that you are. So I've been working 30 minutes a day until I GSD. And Gary, central Indiana. I lived in Brown County. It doesn't get more central than that. It's literally in the dead center of the state. I lived in Bean Blossom, Indiana. So if you're going to Brown County today, say hello to people at the ashram. And there you go. And everyone's rocking. And Hickey has joined us. Good morning from Calgary. Exactly. Excellent. Jeffrey, you inspired to send 17 minutes a day dedicated. Are you inspired? Yes, I am, actually. Um, first of all, I'm inspired to do this show every day. That's 30 minutes of dedicated time. But when I wake up in the morning, I've, already, I've been up since 5 o'clock this morning, working, reading, organizing, doing everything I possibly can. And yes, I'm willing to spend 17 minutes a day dedicated to organization and or my library because that requires constant organization, literally constant organization. And and yeah, cheers, exactly. My office is my nemesis, but consciously making progress. Um, all the good mornings that are back and forth here, are, they're just phenomenal. Attack your problem, John Coltrane, not a bad saxophone player. <clears throat> Every yoga class I offer gratitude for our hardest working system, our digestive system. Whoa. Excellent, Mary. A winner, Mary. Good morning from Charlton. Blessed day to you. Blessed day to you too, William. Exactly. Hazel, but procrastination, put procrastination last on your to-do list so you get your shit done first. And you can put procrastination off until the next day. That so fucking brilliant. Thank you, Hazel. Thank you for your wisdom. And everybody here should pay attention. Every There isn't one person here that should not be copying his input, his screens. Please. Come on. Please. Guys, just got it. Cat not door Fitzsimmons. Okay. Kara, good morning. Nice crown. Nothing like a woman with a with a crown. Believe in what you're doing and in those who are helping you do it, and you're bound to win. Napoleon Hill. Boom. It's totally boom. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Houston's here. Cliff divers dive. They don't talk about it. <laughs> yep. Yep. It's so true. You know, Gabrielle just jumped off of one of those waterfall things in uh, in Seattle. There was uh, about a 10-foot drop from the small waterfall into a pond of water. And she gets there, and she's a little nervous about it. She turns to her cousins and says, count me down. So 10, 9, and then she did it. She had the cheers and encouragement of others. Coachman shared, thank you very kindly. April, a novice asked the master for instruction. The master replies, have you had breakfast yet? I have, said the student. Then wash your bowl, said the master. Oh, my goodness. God, do I love this. I just, I totally love this. Thank you, April. Very well said. So excited to be on with you this morning from Wisconsin. Go Pack Go. Well, pack is going. I mean, pack is going. <sighs> the sculptor produces the beautiful statue by chipping away such parts of the marble block 
as are not needed. Oh my goodness. That's phenomenal. Love that. But I think it's also a vision, Ron. I think the sculptor has a vision of what he or she thinks that thing is going to look like when they're done and they chip away the stuff until they get to their vision. Just saying. Lagos, Nigeria, phenomenal. Great job, Jeffrey. Thank you very kindly. Isn't this so cool? Oh my gosh. Greg, yes. Spend time cleaning and decluttering. Feels great to walk into those spaces. I agree. I totally agree. This is so timely. I'm out of town, but my plan is to declutter when I get home next weekend. Phyllis, wishing you well. Give us an update. Exactly. Uncluttered, I wish. Listen, Joe, and those of you from Philadelphia, we tied. It was like a win. I, I texted my son-in-law. I said, tie game. We win. Because <laughs> we came from behind. We did a terrible game. We're terrible. Uh, thanks for showing up today. It's my pleasure, Paul. I show up every day. An organized desk is the first sign of your career getting off track. My former mentor gave me this sign. One I ignored. One thing I ignored doing fine. Listen, a clean desk is the sign of a sick mind was something I read a long time ago. I, I don't have a clean desk, but that doesn't mean my space can't be organized. My desk is full of things that make me smile. I, literally, it's full of everything. Yeah. This is so cool. My dad used to say, it's better to fight than to run. That's what kept me off the track team. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, Purdue. What? Kyle Alworthy is here. Coffee soon. Sure. Um, just text me later. I love Kyle Alworthy. He's a nice guy. Great dad. Just a great, great dad. Been through all kinds of crap, just like we all have. But he's a winner, and he will stay a winner. Kyle, good to talk to you. Coffee this week. Let's do early morning. I got an 8 o'clock or that. Um, just call me. Top of the morning, indeed. Good evening, Jay and team. Good evening to you, sir, from far, far away. And everyone is here just cranking it out. I've spent 100 days since quarantine removing clutter. Spent an hour plus yesterday shedding. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, I don't have to do anything with that kind of bookkeeping crap. But, man, I get other crap. I have oh, this. Ontario, Canada has checked in. Greg, good morning. I'm organized. I just have a lot of stuff. Yep, Doug Twyman. Greetings from the Jersey Shore. More people from New York are moving here every week, donating blood today with the American Red Cross. Doug, way to go. Doug is a giver, a total giver. Yeah, exactly. George, what do you got to say from Nigeria? I'm coming out strong in October. It's a month of the salesman. I'm doing 21 days Facebook Live challenge on several topics, adding value. Way to go, dude. What do you have to say there, Patricia? I love your comment. Pat, the factoring lady from Houston. Hi, Pat. Oh, I love your content. Well, I love yours too. Kyle Elworthy, 5 a.m., which time zone? <laughs> well, there is actually only one time zone, and that is New York. All other places have to focus around what time is it in New York. That's it. And they all make some kind of an excuse for it. You know, what, what time is that in New York? Because that's where you want to know. That's where your ground comes from. Just saying. At least the Eagles didn't lose. That is exactly correct. Uh, we were talking about something the other day about sell me this ashtray. And Zig Ziglar was on this um, talk show in the morning. And they were almost out of time. And the uh, moderator, I can't remember his name, he was a total jerk, turns to Zig Ziglar with about 10 seconds left to play and says, sell me this ashtray. And Ziglar talks about it. You can use it all different kinds of ways. And it's got this and da, 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 da. And the announcer said, yeah, I didn't say yes. And Ziglar says, but you didn't say no. And the show ended. Just absolute classic. 
absolute classic. Hi, hi, hi. From your Temple alum and South Philly. Um, I used to go to Pat's, then I switched to Geno's. Now I go to neither. I try to find a place called Rick's. I think it's going to say it's in Ardmore now, but he's the grandson of Pat. Daunting. Good morning from Long Key. Opportunities abound. You've got to keep your eyes open, seize opportunities, and manage your downside. I agree. Coach Phil says, Jeffrey, thoughts of the no win, no loss game? <laughs> exactly. Please do not confuse clutter with lack of organization. Okay, I won't. Wax on, wax off. Wax on, wax off. Dude. Um, from a Ford store in Iyer, Massachusetts. Paul, love you. Tesla. Cool. Lance, you're, at least you're not a Falcons fan. I agree. The tie is like kissing your sister. Not that great, not that bad. <laughs> oh, man. So many things this morning. Thank you so much for everyone being here. You have no idea. It's uh, go Seahawks. I hate the Seahawks. Something about them I just don't like. But they beat the Cowboys. So now I'll like them for seven days. Uh, I want you to go to getimer.com. Com. Have some new announcements for the Insiders Club coming up. Go on. Stay tuned. Watch for me. I'll be there sometime today. Love you. Have you ever noticed when you look forward to something, it's always an, <laughs> oh, when you look for something. Yep, I agree. I am a paper piler and need to be a better filer. I am exactly, I'm the president of that club. One of the best things I did in my career was signing up for one of Jeff's sessions at a conference. Great books. Thank you, Lance, dude. Thank you very kindly. Yeah, the Seahawks are 3-0. and Big deal. I hate the Seahawks. Most important time zone is N-O-W. Boom. Hazel, you got so much wisdom. I didn't want to say goodbye yet. The paper shredder is my friend. Now you're talking. Now you are talking. Um, April, what a great goal. Wear out the shredder. So, you guys, I'm going to see you tomorrow morning at 9.59 a.m. I'm going to challenge you to do your best today, not your second best today. Just spend a half an hour decluttering your life or organizing something and then spend an hour connecting with customers. Cheers until tomorrow. Stay safe. Stay happy. Be productive. Be successful. 9.59 a.m. tomorrow.